I'm home. Not like there's no one to tell, though. This is Alexandra Tipperman. A year ago, she divorced her ex-husband, Cody, after finding out he was fooling around with their pretty neighbor, Vivian Blaustein behind her back. Wait up. The safe is opened. This can't be. I've been robbed. My credit cards, checkbooks, and life savings are all gone. Worst of all, my car keys are missing as well. Cody. Freakin. Tiberman. That loser retard really had gone way too far this time. Alex's home security footage caught Cody and his lover, Vivian breaking into her house while she was out grocery shopping. At first, Cody was the best husband a woman could even ask for. He used to be loving, respectful, caring, and supportive to his wife. Whenever Alex feels down, Cody was always there to scare her blues away. Alex is the breadwinner and goes out for work. So it was up to Cody to keep the house clean. And every time she gets tired after a long day of work, Cody was there to give her a massage to ease away the tension. For two and a half years, things were going hunky-dory in their marriage. But it all came crashing down when Vivian moved to town. Vivian would spend more time at the Tiverman's house than at her own home. It seems like Cody enjoys our company. But Alex has our suspicions about her. Because of that, Cody has been acting strange. He would stop doing the housework altogether. He would refuse Alex into bed. He would often shop online, using Alex's money, of course. He even came home at midnight at the earliest, and heavily drunk lately. And with kissing marks all over his face, and his jacket his mother got for him on his birthday. And every time Alex asked Cody about his sudden change of behavior, he just brushes it off. Or make up random excuses. And one day, after returning from work. Hold up. Why is there a stack of clothes on the living room floor? Did Cody forget to do the laundry again? But wait a minute. That dress isn't mine, and I don't even wear stilettos. If I remember correctly. I saw Vivian at the mall with the same dress, and that pair of heels last weekend. So that would mean. Cody has been cheating on me with Vivian all this time. By Georgina, I think she's got it. I'm so gonna make him pay. Oh. My. God. Now now honey pie. It's not what it looks like. What are you talking about, sugar cookie? It's what it looks like. I'm surprised that it took you forever to figure it out, Alex. Cody was shocked and scared because he knew he was busted for his unfaithfulness to his wife. But Vivian seemed proud of herself for what she did. Alex finally put two and two together. Cody refused her in bed because he was falling more and more out of love with her. And the reason why he came home late every night is because he was drinking and partying with his lover. And we're pretty sure that those kiss marks were from none other than that bible-headed tramp, Vivian. And all that crap he bought online were gifts for the damn neighbor. And he stopped doing chores just because he grew lazier and lazier each day. So, in other words, Cody was been acting weird because he was having an affair with Vivian. But, you loved me with all your heart. You said so during our wedding vows. You promised you stay loyal to me no matter what. I think I'm gonna be sick. Be honest with me, how long has this stupid affair been going on for? <sighs> it's been going on for the past three months. Yeah. And the bar isn't the only place we've been to behind your back. We also went to many hotels around town. I always knew I was a much better fit for Cody than you ever were, or, will, be, you, dumb, blonde. So Alex, who got super enraged with the situation, with her patience completely gone, she finally snapped. Absolutely. No 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 no. Cody, 
You dunce. You dolt. You brute. You beast. You worthless cad. How could you two time me with that stupid broad? After all I've done for you? That's it. You cheating scoundrel. I don't love you anymore. We're filing for a divorce. And I won't rest until you're left with nothing. Oh, that's right. You don't even have assets to speak of. Either way, put on your clothes, pack your bags, and get your butt out of here. I never, ever, ever, want to see your face again. Get out. Get out. Get. Out. And, take your mistress with you. Over a month later, the divorce is finalized. Like Alex said, Cody never had any assets to speak of when they divorced, so he has yet to pay what he owes her from the settlement. He and his trashy girl toy had very little money left, that they resorted to stealing all the money she had, and her car, and then skipping town. When I gave Alex the key back, I kept the spare. I'm glad that I did in the nick of time. That loser keeps her important stuff in the safe, and in the drawer. This car is... Super cool. Babes. Look at this. She had so oh 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 much money saved up. Hundreds of thousands of dollars galore. I expected nothing less. We won't have to worry about money for a long, long time. So, Alex instantly reported what's stolen to the cops. Then contacted her ex-in-laws about the situation. A few months later, she got a call from the police. What? So, my car was... Yup, your car was found abandoned after it has seemingly been crashed into a tree. The security camera shows your ex-husband and his lover abandoning the car, but we haven't been able to locate them ever since. I thought that the cheaters would be found after causing such damage. But the crash occurred someplace else. So I can't get more info about it. I worked to save that dough after the divorce. Curses. Foiled again. Two years later. Alex had half given up hope until she saw a Woodsaw post from Cody. What the? We're getting married. My girl Vivzi Witsi is gonna give birth in July. And we're extremely happy. Those two dodo brains spent two years on the run. Two. Freaking years and haven't been able to change their official residence and this de facto marriage how the heck are they gonna handle the paperwork and vivian's gonna give birth next month how are they gonna report that look he even had the idiocy to jot down his address words aren't enough to tell how stupid this is but i expected no less from cody and that tramp Cody most likely meant it to be an insult towards Alex, but it was too poorly executed to be that way. Alex went to her ex-in-laws to settle the matter. It's been forever, Alexandra. In the two years she hadn't seen Cody's father Shane, mother Marie, or little sister Claudia, they lost a lot of weight. You guys look very thin. Are you alright? It's embarrassing to say, but we haven't been able to eat much after all that. So, what's up? Check your family WhatsApp. Marriage? Baby? Baby? baby what, what the? the? What the? By the looks of it, they haven't used social media in a while. Alex, we're very sorry for all the problems my big stupid brother has caused you. I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you okay? Shaney Pie, please calm down. Alex, leave the rest to us, alright? Okay. Thanks for your help. And with that, she left. The Tipperman parents called the Blaustein parents about the actions of their thieving, man-eating daughter. Looks like they didn't take it very well, at all. That brat, that brat, that brat, that brat, that brat. She is so finished. You hear, finished. After that, Cody's family, Vivian's parents, and the fuzz came to the pair's new home to arrest them once and for all. What are you doing here? And how did you find this place? Cody Winston Tiberman. How freaking dare you? You have any idea of how much stress you're causing everyone involved? 
If we were you, we apologize to Alex, ASAP. And, where's that impertinent daughter of ours? Crap. The Blast teen parents are here too. What's with all the yelling? Oh crap. Mom and Dad? What do you want? Go home already. Can't you see we're living happily here? Pardon me, you're Cody Tiberman and Vivian Blaustein, right? Oh shoot. It's the cops. I'm afraid you two will have to come downtown with us. Hey. Watch it. I'm Prego, you know? Ma'am, please calm down. How on earth did you find us? Duh. Of course we'd find you when you post something like this, stupid. You dumb and arrogant old. How could you do something like that? What's wrong with you? What? It was your idea for me to post that in the first place, you cow. Stop screaming and insulting a pregnant woman. All right, you two, that's enough. All right, as the jury reached the verdict, we have, your honor. And we find the defendants. Guilty of all charges. Mr. Tiberman and Mrs. Blastine. You guys are found guilty of adultery, breaking and entering, burglary and grand theft auto. I hereby sentence you to eight years in the state prison. Case dismissed. And so, Cody and Vivian are finally in jail. And of course, their family severed all ties with them. So, even if their eight-year sentence is over, there'll be no one to welcome them back. Alex felt sorry for the future baby. But hopefully the evil duo have learned their lesson and stopped taking stuff that doesn't belong to them. Hello. Yes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Good luck. Dear, was that the police? No, that's my ex-father-in-law. He said that once Vivian's baby is born, her parents will take full custody of him. I heard they always wanted an heir to their company. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. Come on Sean, let's have dinner. Today, Alex is remarried to a wonderful guy named Sean, and is pregnant with a girl. Life, Life is good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this story, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Alright, that's all for now. Until we meet again, this is Jazz Clown 1999 signing off.